Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to solve the JP Morgan Chase and Company Task One. So, as we know, in in this lockdown, there are lots of companies that are providing internship opportunities to make this lockdown productive. So, JP Morgan is one of them. So, he's it's just provide a virtual internship for those who are the college students and the professional who want to get the experience the virtual experience that is inside the company and how to work on their software okay so jp morgan has also provide a virtual internship opportunity for the, all the students if you want to how to register in this in this uh, virtual internship you can google it if you search in a google jp morgan virtual internship you will get the first link and from there you can easily sign up okay so in this video i'm going to show solve the first task in this virtual internship program so as you show in the screen there is a first task that is interface with the stock price data feed okay and in this stock in this in this task there are lots of code given by the developers and you have to do some changes in the previous code and submit your response actually so this is all about the first task okay so for doing first task you can use Mac environment you can use Windows you can use Unix or Linux, but the most suitable platform you can use that is REPL that is read, print, eval, print and loop. It is an online ideally you can go and write your script there. Okay, so for this we go go to the fourth number that is here is your task. So for this module of this project you will need to complete the following task set up your system and downloading the necessary repository files tools and dependencies fix the broken client data set script in the repository by making the required adjustment to that we are going to do we generate a patch file and submit your response okay so for this for this first of all you have to go see there are the three things are there how to set up your development environment on your machine and second is you can start this task in a browser that is the online IDLE, that is REPL I told you and the, and the third one is also the with the browser that is Python 3. So I am going to use a Python 3 so click on this. Okay, so in the next window in the front of you guys there is a REPL online IDLE environment as you can see there, this is a script on the left hand side there is a script format. And on the right hand side in the downside there is a command line okay so this is a main file and the lots of files are there the first thing is you you have to do that is click on the fork once you click on fork there is some processing it will take some time okay so now I click on fork, fork. So this is this fork chain into the invite. The next step you have to write some command on the command line. So these commands are the basic commands of the Linux. That is import OS. First is import OS. The next one is OS dot system bash. Next one is cd space jpm underscore module underscore one okay so actually it take the processing that's why it is doing like this okay so the next is as I told you cd space jpm underscore module underscore one okay okay so it's giving some error so we have to start from the initial state like import os 
yeah it will take some time when you click on the fork there are lots of command will be executed automatically you can see in your command prompt that is like a quoted abc and so on after that you have to write import os then write os dot system inside the course bash hmm. after that cd space not as the cd space jpm underscore module underscore one after that get in it then get space add dash space dash capital a after then get config user dot email here you will provide the email that you use during the registration of your virtual internship okay so i use the kavyash my mail that is kavyash on the seven at the rate dot com okay this will be inside the codes i was just missing the space between the email and the double quotes so if you give the space between the email and the double quotes the code will be run okay so in the next step you have to write the your username inside the user dot name git config okay so for this i'll click on this git config user dot name make sure you give the space this and your name okay so we run this yes running the next command prompt you have to write git commit space dash m space inside the single quotes right in it in the capitals okay yeah so it will take all the files that is given in this file section that is main.py jpm module 1 instruction a new client 3 if you click on this jpm there is a server 3 client 3 and the client as py there are three python files are there okay so in the next command prompt you have to just write exit okay so now the setup for your program is done and now do some essential changes okay so you have to do some you have to do basically three changes as as mentioned here open the client script client3.py if we click on this yes there is a lots of scripts are there uh in the cat data point section uh price is assigning the value of bit price but the actual result will be bit price divided by ask underscore price inside the bracket and divided by 2 okay so one change is, is this the second change is yes, in the place of return one you have to write some code you just delete all these these comments
after the deletion of this command you have to make sure there is not indentation error okay so check if fries underscore b is equals to 0 then return nothing otherwise return price a divided by price underscore b sorry okay so these two changes and the last third change will be in the main section on the line 60 yes in the, in the first try you will provide the data frame that is a b c in the second price you will provide d e f inside the code so okay so these after these three these three changes you have to save this file here it will be automatically save and copy the whole code copy this whole code from the import url lib till the def okay copy this code and open new underscore client 3 dot pi file delete all comments that are given here and paste the copied code well, once you paste the copied code it will save automatically and now you have to delete client3.py file you have to delete client3.py file that is click on delete it will show you want to delete this file this can't cannot be undone okay yes delete this file once you delete your client3 file and after that you have to rename the file that is new underscore client3.py as client3.py once you rename this now move this inside the jpm folder you can easily drag and drop it okay so now client3.py this is a new file that is previously new underscore client3.py is inside the jpm folder okay now you have to create the patch file for your submission okay so how to create a patch file for this you have to write some commands on the command prompt again so first command will be import os as we previously do that is import os and the next one is os dot system bash inside the single quotes the next one is cd space jpm space underscore module underscore one After then git add dash space dash a then git commit you can see there is a git file okay git commit space git commit space dash m create patch file this is a command you have to write for creating the patch file after that you have to give the format that is git format dash patch space dash one H E A D head and you can see there is a message the 0001 create patch file 
dot patch dot patch indicate this is a patch file okay so you can see this is your patch file 000 create and so on if you double click on this you will see your your patch file as you can see there is a all codes are there like a from the 35th line that is import your records and so on this is the all your codes in 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 the form of patch file okay so after that you have to give the name for your patch file so mv space angle brackets name of the patch what is the name of the patch that you can see there is a 001 and create patch file okay so this is a name so 0001 create patch file dot patch space double dot backslash single dot so bash is a dictionary and the last one you have to put on exit okay so now your patch file is created inside the jpu module folder and now you have to download this patch file and submit your work on the j on the jpn morgan and chess module so for downloading the patch file you have to click on these three dots click on this download as a zip file now download it it will take some time uh, approximately 96.5 something kb file you can download it will be downloaded fraction of second This file will be downloaded in the zip format. After unzipping it, you have to take the patch file and submit into the submission. So as you can see, file has been downloaded. Double click on it. It will give some warning that is the zip file. Click on yes. Okay. So click on the JPM module. And you can see 0001 create something is your patch file so just click on it copy you can directly copy on your desktop okay So now the file file has been copied on your desktop. You can see like this. Yeah, this one. So this is your zip file. It will not open in my system because I don't have a recommended software for opening this file. But this is a patch dot patch file you can see. And, and now you have to submit this patch file in your on your submission. I already submitted it, so there is not any option for me. But you can, if you scroll down the main folder, the main page of JP Morgan and Chase and Company, you can saw the following on the fourth, fifth. Okay, so on the fifth point, and click here to submit your work. After, after when you submit your work, you will receive a confirmation message that is like this. We have received your submission for the interface with the stock price data feed module Kalyanj. And this is my name. So, so in this video, I covered the tasks first. If you want to get, if you want to know the task, how to solve the task, second task, third, and task four, because there are four modules. Just wait for the following. Just wait for the upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching this video.